properties of sound. Eba dek, just like reflection of light, light jamo reflect kore, similarly sound o reflect kore. The wavelength of sound waves ranges between about 2 cm to 20 m, which is much larger than light. So, for reflection of sound wave, we do not require very smooth reflectors as required by the light wave. It acts a distinction. A brick wall, a hillside or a row of trees can serve as a reflector of the sound. Again, a small piece of mirror can serve the purpose of a reflector of light, but a reflector of sound must be a few meter wide. Otherwise, sound wave follows similar laws of reflection as those of the reflection of light. The laws of reflection of sound are important. The angle of reflection is equal to the angle of incidence. Remember, jamon angle of incidence in case of light is equal to angle of reflection. Sound er khetro same. The reflected sound ray, the incident ray and the normal at the point of incidence on the reflecting surface lie in one plane. Same. Light er khetro jar law ache. Sound er khetro laws of reflection same. Thale, we can prove these laws by a simple experiment. A wooden drawing board is taken and placed vertically on the table as shown in the diagram. Two tubes A and B are placed on the table as shown. A wooden screen held vertically as a partition between the tubes is kept. A clock is put near one end of tube A. The tick-tock sound of the clock cannot be heard when we place our ears on the other side of the board. But when sound of the clock after being reflected by the drawing board enters the tube B can be heard on the on placing ear on other side of the tube B. It is found that sound heard at B is maximum when the tubes A and B make equal angles with OC. That is the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. Also the incident sound ray, the reflected ray, the axis of tubes A and B and the normal at point O, incidence on the board lie in one plane. Pretty much same as the light experiment. Now, regular practical application ki sound stethoscope ebhabe kach kore. There are many practical applications of the reflection of sound. A speaking tube, the gramophone horn, the stethoscope, etc. are some of the examples. So, ekhane ekta construction of a speaking tube is shown in the figure. It is used for communication of speech from one room to another in a large building or ship. It is a long tube. On speaking at one end of this tube, the sound is reflected repeatedly from side to side of the tube and ultimately in all directions as shown in this figure. So, on placing ear near the other end of the tube, it could be heard distinctly. Tahole acta inde jokhon kono sound hoche, so the sound is reflecting and it is reaching the other end. Similarly, with a stethoscope which works on the same principle, doctors can hear distinctly the feeble sound of heart or lungs of a patient without placing his ears on the patient's chest. To hear the sound coming from a long distance, we place our palms in a curved fashion near our ear. Here the curved palm acts like a parabolic reflector and directs the sound waves into our ears. তাহলে কানের কাছে যখন আমরা দূর থেকে কোনো আওয়াজ আসে আমরা কানের কাছে হাতটা নিয়ে যাই আর আমরা শোনার চেষ্টা করি। তো ওই একটা ন্যাচারাল ইনস্টিংক্ট হচ্ছে अगेन দ্য পাম ইজ অ্যাক্টিং অ্যাজ আ রিফ্লেক্টর এন্ড উই ক্যান হিয়ার ডিসটেন্ট সাউন্ডস। নাও উই কাম টু ইকো when a sound after reflection from some reflector is again heard, separated from the original sound, then this reflected sound is called an echo. Echo, jokhon kono khali room mein modhe hamra jachi boro khali room mein modhe ge jokhon hamra kono awaj korchi jokhon hamra kono kotha bolchi we can hear it echoing. Jokhon hamra hamra film mein to prachu dekhechi jokhon hamra kono mountain side er hoyechi, tokhon ki hotse the jokhon ki okichu bolche. The voice is coming back. How does the voice come back? Well, jokhon distance to onik vehi hoi, there are a number of reflections which result in echo. For hearing the echo of the sound separated from the original sound, there must be a minimum distance between the observer 
and the reflecting surface. The impression of a sound persists in our body for about one tenth of a second after the sound is made and this period is regarded as the persistence of hearing. এই সময়টাতে এই ওয়ান টেন্থ অফ আ সেকেন্ড এতটা টাইম আমাদের ব্রেন কোনো সাউন্ডটাকে ধরে রাখতে পারে ফর শর্ট সাউন্ড সাচ অ্যা সাউন্ড অফ ক্ল্যাপিং টু হিয়ার অ্যান্ড একো ডিস্টিংলি দ্য টাইম ইন্টারভেল বিটুইন দ্য অরিজিনাল অ্যান্ড দ্য রিফ্লেক্টেড সাউন্ড মাস্ট বি অ্যাট লিস্ট ওয়ান টেন্থ অফ আ সেকেন্ড ইফ দ্য ভেলসিটি অফ সাউন্ড ইন এয়ার বি টেকেন অ্যাজ থ্রি ফর্টি মিটার পার সেকেন্ড দেন ইন ওয়ান টেন্থ অফ আ সেকেন্ড সাউন্ড ট্রাভেলস থার্টি ফোর মিটার্স Of this 34 meter, sound can go 17 meter while going to the reflector and come back 17 meter in its return journey to the source. Thus, distance of the reflector from the source of sound must be at least 17 meter for the echo of a short sound to be heard clearly. This is important. Echo hawa junno 17 meter is important. For this reason, echo is not heard in a small room, which is usually 4 to 6 meter long and is less than the required least distance of 17 meter for an echo and thus echo is not heard in the room, although reflection of sound takes place from the walls. Okay, in nature also we have examples of echo, the rumbling sound of the cloud during the thunderstorm is the echo of the peal of thunder. The echo is produced by the reflection of peal of the thunder from different layers of clouds, hills, etc. By employing the echo of sound, depth of a sea can be determined. A small underwater charge of explosives placed at the bottom of a ship. When the charge is fired, a loud sound is produced. The time interval between the sound of the explosion and its echo produced due to the reflection of sound from the seabed is measured automatically by an underwater microphone called hydrophone. সাউন্ড তৈরি করা হচ্ছে অ্যাট দ্য সার্ফেস অফ দ্য ওয়াটার আর সেই সাউন্ডটা ডেপথে গিয়ে কতক্ষণে রিফ্লেক্ট ব্যাক করে আসছে দ্যাট ইজ মেশোর্ড ইফ দিস টাইম বি টি অ্যান্ড বি দ্য ভেলসিটি অফ সাউন্ড ইন সি ওয়াটার বি নোন দ্য ডেপথ এইচ অফ দ্য সি ক্যান বি ডিটারমাইন্ড অ্যান্ড ইট ইজ ইউজড বাই দ্য ফর্মুলা এইচ ইজ ইকুয়াল টু ভি টি বাই টু দেন আগেন দের ইজ আ There are some numerical examples. Calculate the minimum distance between listener and the reflector for hearing distinctly the echo of an inarticulate sound if the velocity of sound be 340 meter per second. Let the minimum distance of the reflector from the listener be x. The sound wave travel 2x meter. Agbar, ekhan dekhe observer er sound ta toeri kotche, reflector er kache jatche, abar reflector er thikhe observer er kache. ফেরত আসছে অ্যাজ দ্য পার্সিস্টেন্স অফ হিয়ারিং ইজ ওয়ান টেন্থ অফ সেকেন্ড সো ইট ইজ দ্য টাইম রিকোয়ার্ড টু ট্রাভেল টু এক্স মিটার সো ভি ইজ ইকুয়াল টু টু এক্স বাই টি অর এক্স ইজ ইকুয়াল টু ভি টি বাই টু ভি সাবস্টিটিউট দ্য ভ্যালুজ অ্যান্ড উই গেট সেভেন্টিন মিটার্স ইন অ্যান এক্সপেরিমেন্ট ফর মেজারিং ডেপথ অফ সি সাউন্ড অফ এক্সপ্লোশন রিফ্লেক্টেড ফ্রম সি বেড ইজ হার্ড আফটার টুয়েলভ সেকেন্ড Find the depth of the sea at that place. Velocity of the sound in water is given as 1500 meter per second. So, using the formula Vt by 2, depth can be calculated as 9000 meter which can be converted to 9 kilometer. Reverberation of sound hoche in big halls or rooms echoes due to multiple reflection of the sound from different walls and floors follow so closely after the original sound that the original sound appears to prolong even after the source of sound stops producing. Ekta dhang kore awaj holo hoyto kichu ekta boro room er modhe kichu tang kore porlo she awaj ta onekkhon dhore thake because of multiple reflection of that sound. This effect of sound is known as reverberation the time interval for which the original sound appears to be prolonged is known as the reverberation time an architect must take into account about the reverberation time in designing an auditorium for an auditorium the reverberation time for speeches should be short the sound absorbing materials in the auditorium by making it ceiling soft textured material 
heavy curtains in its windows, acoustic tiles in its floors, thickly padded seats, and placing some plants in pots. Era ki korbe, era a reverberation time dake komiye debe. They will reduce it. Ebar audible sound atar frequency ki. Nanan sound, nanan frequency te toiri kora hai, but a normal human ear can hear only those sound waves whose frequency lies between 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. And this range is known as the audible sound range. The waves of frequency which are less than 20,000 hertz are known as infrasonic sounds and the sounds which is greater than 20,000 hertz are known as ultrasonic sounds. Speaking of infrasonic sounds, these waves are produced by large vibrating bodies. These waves are produced by the vibration of Earth's surface during earthquake. Some big animals like elephant, rhinoceros, whales, etc. produce infrasonic and cannot be heard by human ear because that is below the range of audible sound. Some animals can detect infrasonics and they are found to behave unusually before earthquake. Ultrasonic sound, these waves are not audible to human ear but some animals and birds again like bats can hear or detect these waves. Bats can also produce ultrasonic waves by flapping their wings. The ultrasonic waves produced by them are reflected by obstacles like buildings, trees, etc. and guide them in their flight at night. They also catch their prey during the night with the help of the ultrasonic sound, ultrasonic waves produced by them. So what they do, they produce the ultrasonic waves by flapping their wings. Oi wave ta gye jabe, gye acta prayer opore gye hit korbe. Hit kore, oi wave ta abar odher kache back korbe. They will calculate the time, kato khune modhe oi sound ta odher kache fero thero. From that, they can estimate the distance between, the between them and the prey are similarly with the building so they can avoid any dhaka. Uses of ultrasonic sound, ultrasonic waves are used for establishing underwater communication. They are used to find depths of sea, they are used to clean hidden parts of an instrument, they are used for welding plastic, they are used to detect falls and cracks in metals, they have great use in medical science in diagnosing diseases in hidden parts of the body by taking photography known as ultrasonography. Ultrasonic waves are also used to kill bacteria in liquids like milk. They are used to study the development and to detect abnormality in the growth of an unborn baby again ultrasonography. They are also used to find image of heart by the process known as echocardiography. Now we come to something which is known as sonar. Sonar is full form of sound, navigation and ranging. This is a device which is used in ships to locate rocks, icebergs, submarines in the sea etc. and also to measure the depth of a sea. So this was something that a titanic and hence the ship got hit by a glacier. But now these techniques are used and with the usage of these technology any disaster can be avoided. It is based on the principle of the reflection of sound waves or echo. Now coming to characteristics of sound. Sound is three main characteristics. Loudness, pitch and quality. Loudness is the property by which a loud sound can be distinguished from a faint one. Both having same pitch. For example, when the key of a piano is hit harder or a pipe is blown harder, more energies are put in the vibrating body and due to this the amplitude of the vibration increases and a louder sound is produced. Then we are talking loudly. The loudness depends on the intensity or amplitude of the wave. It may be noted that loudness is not the same as intensity. Loudness is not a measurable quantity, only a sensation, while intensity can be measured. Next, pitch. 
which is that characteristic of sound by which a shrill note can be distinguished from a dull or flat note higher the pitch sound is shriller and lower the pitch sound is flat in tape recorder or television bass and treble refers to low and high pitch respectively pitch refers to musical sounds only and all musical notes have a definite pitch pitch of a note depends on its wavelength and frequency but of subjective nature pitch is not the same as frequency the frequency can be measured while pitch can only be perceived by the listener and may not be the same to all listeners they may be different the voice of women or children is usually higher pitched than that of men quality quality or timbre of a sound is the characteristics which distinguishes two sounds of same loudness and pitch produced by two different instruments the sound produced by an instrument or a source does not contain a single frequency but contains vibrations of different frequencies and amplitudes the quality of a sound depends on the presence of a number of the extra notes in addition to the main note we can easily distinguish between sounds of same note produced by a piano or by a sitar or a flute we can easily identify that each person has his characteristics wave form and so we can recognize the sound of a person without even seeing them tell it this is again the quality that distinguishes the person now we come to human ear and mechanism of hearing sound tale ekhane amader human ear er diagram ta dewa ache the ear converts pressure variations in air due to audible frequencies into electrical signals that travel to our brains through the auditory nerves tale ei sound wave ta je gulo dhukche ei waves gulo je gulo dhukche shetake electrical signal e कन्वार्ट कर हुईच इज रिचिंग आर ब्रेन कीसेकर ब्रेने रिच कर बै द अडिटरि नार्व द डिफरेंट पार्टस अफ द ह्यूमैन इयर आर द आउटर इयर उच वि सी इज कल्ड द पेन्ना जो कानदा बड़िए आज है से पेन्ना एंड कलेेक्ट साउंड फ्रम द सराउंडिंग्स दिस कलेेक्टेड साउंड पास थ्रु द अडिटरि कनाल एट द एंड अफ उच देर इज अ थिन मेमब्रेन कल्ड द इयर ड्रम और द टिम्फैनिक मेमब्रेन the sound travels through a series of compressions and rarefactions through the medium when one such compression of the medium reaches the eardrum the pressure on the outside of it increases and pushes the eardrum inwards pretty much similar to jemon amra amader drums dekhi jekhane layer oporer layer ta patla hoy jei rokom mechanism e sound produced hoy in the ear, uh, in the drums similarly amader eardrum se o rokomi action hoy in the same way the eardrum moves outward when a rarefaction reaches it so the eardrum vibrates in this way these vibrations are amplified a number of times by three bones named hammer anvil and stirrup in the middle ear which transmits this amplified pressure variations received from the sound wave to the inner ear ebar in the inner ear the pressure vibrations are turned into electrical signals by the cochlea these electrical signals are transmitted to the brain through the auditory nerve and the brain interprets the sig- electrical signal to sound again lastly we come to sound pollution koto ta level of the sound is accepted or koto ta noy this is important to be known noise hoche is an unpleasant to hear and sounds of an abrupt nature are treated as noise it is produced due to irregular or non periodic vibrations of the source of sound so when two people talk in the normal sound level okay but the moment they start shouting it is a noise to someone else noise has no fundamental tone or overtones it has no definite pitch and has no quality such pollution of sound is hazardous in many respect noises are not only unpleasant to the ear but they reduce the working power of a man and thus are undesirable jokhon khub chitkar chacha mane khub awaz hocche we cannot do our work we get distracted we get headaches it happens right to amra amader productivity hariye felo 
hue and cry of the people loud sound of loud speakers peculiar sounds of machinery are unpleasant to our ears so in many countries the noise levels are measured regularly and are tried to keep them at minimum level people living near airports have noise pollution from engines in aeroplane arrangements are made to have fewer night flights traffic noise and sounds of horns can upset the people living in roadside buildings when windows and doors are left open double glass paned windows and doors help to prevent outside noise excessive noise from vehicle is forbidden by law in our country sounding horn near hospitals and schools erecting factories in the residential areas using loudspeakers after 11 pm are prohibited by law nowadays playing loudspeakers at an intensity higher than 60 decibel in open space is legally punishable offense and this is pretty much the sound chapter